I consider the Logitech 710 an amazing controller, but it's seen better days. And while I've gamed many hours with it, it's now showing signs of drift and it's time to replace it with this, the GameSir T4 Pro. Get a look at this giant USB receiver. This is really obtrusive. By comparison, the Logitech has this nano transceiver, which is just perfect. To power on the gamepad, hold the home button down for one second. And to power off the gamepad, hold the home button down for five seconds. Here I'm pairing with PC, but to pair with other devices, just follow the combination on the left here. I like the blue light around the right thumbstick, but why no light on the left? It just looks strange. Now on the plus side, one of the standout things about this gamepad are the four linear buttons on the rear, which feel great during gameplay. On the bottom are the four programmable buttons, which you can program with the various combinations by pressing the button on the bottom, plus select on the front, to enter the programming mode and then key the two button combo that you like. Now overall it does feel a bit plasticky and a bit cheap especially because the F710 is heavier and this is really lightweight. Now the textured grip on the back is little consolation as they do very little to aid grip it's just really not very well designed. Now the unit connects via USB-C to USB-A for gameplay but also charges with the same cable in approximately two hours. The D-pad is firm and clicky, as to the ABXY, which are raised enough to aid location during gameplay. When I compare the 710 and the T4, even though the stick motion feels good on both, the T4 thumb rest is smaller and less substantial. So it feels weird, especially because it's in a different location. The T-pad on the D4 just feels smaller and low grade compared to the 710 with its eight way motion. Now, one of the things I've noticed is that the T4 is very lightweight, even though it has two vibration motors built in. It was my expectation by reading the reviews that the controller would be pretty much comparable to the F710, but I guess I'm being a bit too harsh and I do expect this controller to grow on me over time. Now, it does come with a phone holder which you can connect on the back like this, and it just slots straight in, allowing you to put your mobile phone into the holder and of course it allows you to charge whilst you're actually playing. To turn off the lights behind the ABXY, simply hold down the LBRB for a few seconds. And of course just do the same again to turn them back on. To control the strength of the vibration motors, hold the turbo button and either the up down on the D-pad to bring it to full strength or completely off. And lastly, to adjust the lights on the right controller, press LT, RT and the right controller and down on the D-pad. And then do the same, but press up on the D-pad to increase the brightness. One of the worst things about the app is that I couldn't get it to connect to the phone. Plus, as you can see, the reviews concur with all of that. So I'm just gonna flick that aside now let's watch some gameplay. So this actually feels pretty responsive. I was actually amazed. I, I didn't expect the gameplay to be really that good. And this is connected simply with the large gigantic transceiver that we've seen before. But again, I've noticed how great the back buttons are. They're just terrific. Those linear controllers really are a plus on this.
Now this bit here where Han gets kicked by the Stormtrooper is hilarious. So let me just blast this guy for a sec. Okay, let's play something more demanding. So as with the previous game, I'm surprised how good the controller feels. It actually is very smooth and responsive. So again, my opinion of this is changing. As I said, it just needs time to grow on me. And for some mobile gameplay, which translates well to the controller. So again, I'm not a big fan of mobile gameplay, but it seems to work okay on this one here, which I've downloaded from Google Play. Here's a list of likes and dislikes. Overall, I'm still on the fence about the controller, but given time, I'll say that this controller definitely will grow on me. Overall, I'm gonna give this a solid six. It's not the worst controller that I've played with, but it's not the best. If you like that video, I have a whole lot more on the channel, and you can hit the subscribe button and bell notification for new videos. For now, enjoy the one I've selected and the other that YouTube has picked out for you. And of course, see you next time.